Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're going to be talking about UV resin mistakes you're probably making. We have five to go over with today and they're going to be super quick so sit back, relax, and we hope you do enjoy this video. Before we get started, I want to invite you to go ahead and click down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel here at Oak and Lamb. Click that bell to get notified for more amazing videos like this. It is completely free to you to subscribe and to like our content and it takes no time at all and we always appreciate it. UV resin hit the market a couple of years ago and really just started booming in popularity. There are hundreds of thousands of projects you can make using UV resin of all different kinds. We have made so many different things. We use it on a regular basis. So we have learned a thing or two about it and about what and what not to do with it. So if you are a UV resin beginner or if you work with this on a regular basis, you might be surprised that you could be making some of these mistakes. Let me know in the comments down below if you're making any of them. Mistake number one, you did not search and research and test and find a really good brand of UV resin. That will stop you in your tracks as far as making a good professional looking project. If you're in the market for a really good UV resin, this is our favorite. It's called J Diction. I will have it linked down below for you guys in the description. Uh, we do have a video comparing three different types and kinds of UV resin, and this one came out on top. The others were bubbly and cloudy and yellow, and this one was crystal clear and bubble free practically, and it was fantastic. It did a great job, and it continues to for all the amazing projects we use it for. Mistake number two is not using clear silicone molds with the projects that you use molds for. Now clear silicone molds are really important for UV resin projects because just as the title kind of, you know, makes the assumption, it cures with UV light. If UV light is not able to penetrate on all sides or through it, you are not going to get your resin to cure. So if you have a colored mold, which most people do, that's not going to work with UV resin, or at least it's not, not going to work very well. So do be very careful about UV using, excuse me, clear silicone molds and colored molds with UV resin. You always want to make sure that you're using clear molds. Um, that also brings me to like a bonus tip that you guys might not know. Adding glitter pigment, paint, anything like that to your UV resin in order to uh, color it or dye it and things like that can really hinder the UV light from penetrating through that and curing it properly. So go easy on the products to dye it or to make it, uh, you know, an opaque color or even heavy uses of glitter. Anything that's going to stop that UV light from penetrating through your thick layer or a thin layer of UV resin, whether that's, like I said, with a pigment powder or with a pigment gel or with a heavy amount of glitter, that's not going to allow that UV light to penetrate as well. And it's going to take longer or might not cure properly at all. So there's another little bonus tip for you. Mistake number three, you probably are not using something to pop the bubbles before you cure your resin. Now, this is something that I highly recommend, especially if you're mixing your resin again to use pigment or glitter with when you mix anything whether that's in baking in painting or in resin you're adding air to it you know you're adding bubbles to it so when you pour it in your mold or you pour it and spread it on your tumbler or whatnot you are adding bubbles so in order to remove those bubbles before you cure it there are two ways that I love to use way number one is a lighter a torch lighter is much better but a lighter like this is just fine hovering it just above the layer of resin will pop the bubbles on the surface and allow you to be able to have a nice smooth surface when you cure your resin. Uh, the second way is a spritz bottle with rubbing alcohol in it. Doesn't matter what percentage, this is 91% rubbing alcohol. Spray this on your resin before you cure it. Yes, it's fine to spray it with rubbing alcohol, just a little, not a lot. And you'll see those bubbles on the surface magically pop as well. So both of these methods do the same thing, just depending on what you have handy, or maybe if you, know, if you have the kids involved, you definitely don't want them using a lighter, things like that. So those are two ways to make sure that you're going to have a professional looking project. You want to pop those bubbles before you cure your resin. Mistake number four, you're not using protection. Now protection is super, super important here in the crafting world. There's a lot of uh, things that have fumes, a lot of things that can make us sick. 
So you wanna make sure you're being safe, especially if you're using this indoors or with kids or with your family, you want to take the proper precautions. So please, if you can at all, use gloves, eyewear, a mask, things like that. If you have a respirator, that would be great. Now, we have never had a problem health-wise from this. When we do train on using UV resin, we do it without uh, some protection because, of course, we have to be able to speak into our microphones to teach you guys. Um, but we do use protection on a regular basis. It's super important for you guys to do that. So always make sure you read the labels, the safety labels. Make sure that you are following precautions. Uh, AB part resin has, you know, a few different safety precautions than UV resin, for instance, spray paint. I mean, you guys know. And the crafting world, there's so many things that we need to be aware of as far as safety goes. So UV resin is no different. So yeah, take your precautions there. Use your gloves, your eyewear, a respirator. Be safe. Mistake number five is not using the proper UV light for your resin projects. So depending on what size of projects you're making, you might want a bigger light or a smaller light. Depending on what kind of light you have, you might want to reassess depending on what type of resin you have. And what I mean by that is on the back of the bottles of most resins, they do have the amount of time it'll need for the UV resin to set depending on what light you have. The lights that go best with this resin are 36 watt UV lamps or six to nine watt UV LED lamps. So don't be confused or overwhelmed. Uh, it's a very easy process to go on Amazon and find a really good UV light or a UV LED light. Uh, the biggest complaint of ours is that we bought a small light when we needed a big light. So just kind of shop around if you think you're going to be making a lot of tumblers and things like that. Don't get like a little jewelry light, but get a longer, wider, more powerful light. So that is my tip to you guys as well is shop around. Don't buy the wrong light. Don't buy a cheap light or a dull light. Don't buy any light you have to use with batteries. Let me tell you, the first time around when we bought our resin, we purchased a flashlight. It was my fault, not Becca's. I purchased her a big UV flashlight and she was having to replace the batteries like three times a day because of course with UV resin projects, you're holding the light on for several minutes and it just drained the batteries super quick and that pitiful flashlight. So make sure you get one that plugs in. That is another great tip. So if you're making any of these mistakes, that's okay. There's always room to learn. There's always room to grow, especially in the crafting world. We always have some, some hurdles to jump through and things like that. But I do hope this video helped you out. Again, let me know below which mistakes you were making, if any, or if you weren't making any mistakes, that's incredible. Good for you. I hope you did enjoy this super fun and super quick video. We have a lot of really great UV resin training. I will link throughout this video above. So if you see any little titles pop up here and you're curious about UV resin or some projects you can make with them, we have made so much from resin tumblers to staplers to keychains. We have made everything with UV resin. You will love to see the process and to hopefully get inspired on things you can create with your own UV resin. Like I mentioned during the video, I will have all of this stuff linked down below if you are in the market for it or if you would like to try out some incredible UV resin supplies, I'll link those down below for you. If you did enjoy this video and you love to craft, you will love Oak and Lamb. Whether you craft with a Cricut, with a laser cutter, whether you do sublimation or woodworking or UV resin or sewing or home decor, whatever type of crafts you create, we can help you here at Oak and Lamb. It is their mission to create confident and well-rounded crafters and we want to challenge you and inspire you every single day. In our membership, we have hundreds of digital cut files with free commercial use licensing. We have a member-only Facebook group filled with hundreds of like-minded crafters where you can share your projects and ask questions and just hang out with each other and share the same passions with other amazing crafters. We also have free uh, resources like printable guides and we just launched an incredible Cricut course on everything you need to know to basically just master your Cricut. It's amazing. So everything from what comes in your Cricut to how to calibrate your machine, different types of vinyl. I mean, we teach you everything you need to know. So if you purchased a Cricut for Black Friday or you think you might be getting one for Christmas, Oak and Lamb is for you. Everything is included in your membership. You will absolutely love it. Click the link down below and see what we're about, but we're running an incredible sale right now through the end of the year. Use the code JINGLE at checkout 
check out for $45 off your annual membership with us. That is the best deal ever. And that number, that great discount is going to roll over for every consecutive year you stay here with us at Oak and Lamb. We love all of our members so much and we would love to help you become a better crafter today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you another day for another video.